This past weekend, the ASU women's basketball team made the five-hour trip to Window Rock, Arizona for a matchup against number four Baylor. But for the team, this trip was about more than just a game. Reporter Anthony Totri has the story. No expensive shoes, no perfect hoops, and sometimes no court at all. But that doesn't stop the passion for basketball for those in Window Rock, the Navajo Nation capital. If there's a basketball and a hoop, you can basically just play anywhere. This past weekend, that passion was showcased on national television as fans packed Window Rock High School's 6,500-seat gymnasium for the showdown on the res, a game between Arizona State and Baylor's teams. For many, it marked the first time they experienced Division I basketball. Although the game's significance can't be understated, it was about more than just basketball. Having them here inspires me to like go bigger, dream bigger, and just have a mindset that wherever you live, you can always achieve more than you think. It's almost like every other house has a basketball hoop out front here, and that's because basketball on the res is different than it is back in Phoenix. For many, it means everything here. Coming to this community, it's like, wow, there's a lot of kids that you're really going to impact, and having this opportunity is just amazing. The team's goal was to leave a lasting reminder that anything is possible. And if there's one piece of advice Coach Charlie Turner Thorne has for those on the res, it's to follow the path that came before them. They had a fire inside of them. They were hungry to do things that, you know, they weren't sure they could do. You know, I would tell them, you know, it's okay if you don't think you can do it, but Go for it. With 5,600 in attendance and thousands of kids in the stands, the Sun Devils left those on the reservation with an experience unlike any other. In Window Rock, Anthony Totri, Cronkite News.